Hello and welcome to my channel. And I have been storing pepper for the winter. And all my pepper I planted, I give some to family, give some to friends. And I saved some for me, you know, I need some too. I love hot pepper. So I put some in the freezer and uh, make pepper sauce with some. And, um, and I put some on the dehydrator and this is hot. Hello and welcome to my channel. You know, every time I pick my pepper, people want to know what I do with these pepper and how do I, um, I'm gonna show you how I store some of my pepper, what I do, you know, to keep some for the winters.
them in here. I washed them already, got them covered up. And now this is how I usually do some of my pepper. It's a whole lot of it. And I love pepper and then I do it for me and my family and my friends. So this is one way I do it. I blend it up and then I take it out because I can't do it in the house. I got a, a wok out there and I fry it and make some pepper sauce and that you can put it in the jar and keep it in the freezer so anytime you want to eat anything you don't have to cook the pepper you just stick it and scoop a little bit out and put it on your food so that's another way that i do my pepper so i'm going to start blending them up and as i blend it up when i'm ready to take it out uh, into the wok and i'm going to take it out there and it's going to fry outside because it's cold out there and then it all this the person can stay outside. I do everything out there because I don't want it sent in all in the house. It's, it's, it's very, very, very strong in here. So I can't keep it. I can't fry my pepper in here. So this is how I do it. Take it and put it in here. And I'm going to blend it up. And I'm going to take it and fry it and put some seasoning in it and that will taste so good you don't have to even do anything you just take it and put it in your food and it'll be all right to go okay all right put them in here and i shouldn't put that much in there but uh, i'm going to try and see how this is going to work i need to put a little water in there so i'm going to get a cup Get a little water. But they would not blend. Like just chop up I don't need all blend up this much so I'm gonna put these in there and then I'm gonna get some and just chop it up in here and and it add it to it and it's gonna be it's gonna have a little texture with some onion and some I don't know if you all know smoked fish I do add some smoked fish and some cubes in there and that would be okay but uh I'll be back and then I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. I got the pepper in the wok going on. I mean, the oil in the wok going on. And this is the pepper that I blended on. And I'm just going to pour this in here. I'm using to dry my pepper. I can save some of my pepper. Uh, somebody came up with this idea on, on my live stream, so I'm gonna try it and see how that gonna work. But these were the one that I dry in the oven, so I'm gonna see how everything works. Is that the ones I dry in the 
oven and I just stuffed them out of there. These are the ones that's going on in the dehydrator. Yes. So I'm gonna see how long that would take. Then I will take it out. Right. I'll blend it up in the blender and then make it like a powder like. And I can use that in anything I want to use it in. But um, we're gonna see how that's gonna work out because I've been on in the dehydrator for a little bit of time. I forgot to take it out of there, but it is still doing good. But let's see how that's gonna work out. This is the paper here in the dehydrator. And then I'm, I have to use some gloves because, you know, I don't want that burning made up. <laughs> okay? And this is the little uh, blender here. So I use my little one and then I just put the pepper in there.
for washing. Um, this one can last for a long, long time. So thank you so much for washing and I will see you later. Thank you.